Hi everyone and welcome to episode number 7 of our Config Mess 2022. My name is Johan and in this demo you will learn how to troubleshoot Pixie using PowerShell. Demo time. Often if you stumble across um, issues with Pixie, it's typically not your fault. It's often something that the network team is configured in the environment. However, it often falls on your lot to prove that it is not your environment, but rather something in the network. And for that, you can use a bit of PowerShell. So what I have here is a config man environment. On my distribution point, I have enabled the WS less Pixie provider. I happen to like that one better than the old one. So of the two responders, this one is definitely the better one. This service is definitely running on my distribution point. So, whoops, <laughs> I did not mean to click that. Here you can see that responder service is running. But if I go to one of my clients, I'm gonna take that to a clean snapshot or revert to a clean snapshot. And I'm gonna move it from Chicago over to Liverpool where I'm having trouble with Pixie. So Liverpool, okay, and I'm gonna boot it up. And as you can see here, pretty much nothing happens. If I go back to my distribution point and take a look at the log file, which is in this location here, there is nothing going on. It's 8.153 and the last entry I have is 145. So what I can do is I can borrow a PowerShell script that Andreas put together, Andreas Hammershell, the two-point software. We use that to troubleshoot iPixie anywhere, but Pixie is still Pixie, so it works with any type of Pixie responder, even the config manager ones. So in this folder, you will find a troubleshooting script for Pixie. I have downloaded that script to one of the other clients in Liverpool that happened to be up and running with Windows. I'm going to open up a PowerShell prompt. Make the font a bit bigger. And I'm going to run this script. The script does offer options to specify MAC address or BIOS if you have multiple adapters in a machine, but it often works quite well just to run the script as is. And if I try to run this script on this machine here, I only get one type of message. I'm supposed to get two. One to get an IP address, which I clearly get here from the DHCP server, but I should also get a response from my Pixie server, which I don't. So if I go back now to my distribution point and check the IP address of this one, it's 2245. Let's go in and verify the IP helper configuration in my router. And sure enough, it sets to 247, which is a different Pixie server that is definitely not on at the moment. So I'm going to change that to the right IP address. Click Save. Go back to PC number 14. Run the same script again. And this time you see we get two replies. One from 200, one from 245. And this is how you can confirm that you do have information from that Pixie server. Now, if I go back to my client again, just try to reset. And sure enough, it found the IP helper information contacted the DP and is now starting to download the, the boot image. Now, if you, as I mentioned, have multiple network cards on the machine that you're running the script on, you can very easily, through a bit of PowerShell, uh, get that information. So I will share the script, the link to this, under the video here. But obviously, this snippet here will get the BioSquid or the virtual machine. This one here will get the network card and the MAC address here. And I can go back to my virtual machine. And when I run that script, 
by the way, Control M to list the options. You can see that I do can specify the MAC address uh, and the UID string here. So you do have that option as well. But this is a quick troubleshooting tips if you're trying to figure out why Pixie works in one location and definitely not on another location. That's all for today. I hope to see you again tomorrow. Have a good day. Bye for now.